Yo, what's going on people? So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you all how to lose weight at home in 2020. So we can all agree that 2020 has been a crazy year for everyone. And one of the crazy things that happened this year was gyms closed down. Now some gyms have reopened, so they were just closed down temporarily. In other areas, gyms are still closed and some gyms even closed down permanently due to financial issues. Now, if you're in the boat of my gym is still not open, I don't know when it's going to open back up, or my gym is open but I don't feel safe going back to the gym, then this is the perfect video for you if you're trying to lose weight. Please like this video because it helps my channel to grow and it's just vital information that people can use. Now let's continue on. So, the first thing you need to do is to calculate your total energy expenditure. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell you how many calories you burn per day while taking exercise into account. Now it's going to be an estimate. And how you can calculate this is you can use the link in my description below. Don't worry, it's completely free. And that link is going to allow you to enter your information in and it's going to give you what your maintenance calories are. Once again, this is only going to be an estimate, but it's going to give you a good starting point. Now, from the maintenance calories, you want to subtract around 250 to 300 calories from that number, and that's going to be your starting caloric intake for that first week. Now, to ensure you're eating that exact amount of calories, you need to get a food scale. I'll put a link to the food scale that I use in the description below, but you don't have to use the one I use. You can get a food scale from the grocery store and it will be just as effective. I don't recommend spending a lot of money on a food scale. You just need something very basic to weigh out your foods. Now, when you have the food scale, you need to be weighing everything out and then inputting that information into a free app that I've been using for over six years called MyFitnessPal. My Fitness Pal allows you to set your goals, whether it be your weight goal, your macronutrient goals, your calorie goals. It's a lot you can do with My Fitness Pal. And whether I'm losing weight, gaining weight, maintaining weight, I always use My Fitness Pal. So I highly recommend you all download that app. Now, for this first week, when you get what your calories should be after you subtract the 250 to 300 calories from that maintenance level, you want to keep track of what your actual body weight is. So start on day one by weighing yourself in the morning on an empty stomach. And then if you don't want to weigh yourself every day, that's okay. If you want to weigh yourself every three days or so, that's perfectly fine also. But at least you need to be weighing yourself every week. So from day one, you're going to get that initial weight, then once a week passes, see what happened to your weight. Did your weight stay the same? Did your weight go up or did you lose weight? If you lost weight, good. You can keep those calories the same if you want or if you feel like you can drop them lower, then you can drop them a little bit lower, but this is letting you know that you're in a caloric deficit. If your weight stayed the same, then you're probably at maintenance, but give it a try for another week with those same calories just to be sure you know give yourself a two-week buffer now if your weight went up that means that you definitely need to reduce those calories some more because you're not in a caloric deficit you're in a caloric surplus so that's the baseline that's going to give you your starting point for your weight loss journey now as the weeks go on Yes, you probably will have to continue to reduce the calories, but you don't have to reduce them every week. You only need to reduce them when you plateau or the scale goes up. So just keep in mind, you can lose weight for four straight weeks with your calories being the same amount for those four weeks. Because if you're in a deficit, you know, don't try to go all the way down to you know a thousand calories if you don't need to be eating that little amount of food you know some people will do like a, a thousand calorie diet for drastic weight loss but it's not sustainable and when they're done they just gain the weight right back 
plus some. I know we all know people like that. So just going to tell it how it is. When people tell me they're going to do these extreme diets and things like that, I just tell them, you know, it's not sustainable. In the short term, it may work, but we're looking for long term options here to not only lose weight, but to also keep the weight off. So that's going to be your baseline there. You don't have to reduce it every week, but over time, as your body gets acclimated to things and as your weight gets lower, if you want to continue to lose weight and the scale begins to plateau or stop moving, yes, you can reduce those calories. All right, next up, you need to be doing some form of exercise. For me, I do resistance training and walking, but do something you enjoy. It does not have to be weightlifting. It does not have to be walking. You can ride a bike. You can go running. You can do skating. Whatever you want to do for your form of exercise, do that. Do not do something you don't enjoy because it will not be sustainable. And then it's just going to annoy you, honestly. And you're going to get burned out from doing that. So we're making this fitness thing something that we can enjoy and something that we can do long term because no matter what even if your goal wasn't weight loss exercise is still good for the body no matter what and we should always be doing some form of exercise now as far as it goes with weight loss this is going to aid in the weight loss process because you're burning energy by exercising so yes, you will be able to lose weight from being in a caloric deficit, but adding exercise with it is just going to help the process and help you to reach your goal. So that's really the basics of what you need to do in order to start losing weight at home. It's not anything extremely difficult. I know a lot of people are looking for, you know, what's the best diet for me? The best diet is the diet that you enjoy where you're in a caloric deficit. Do something you enjoy. I will say that time and time again. So you can take the flexible approach to dieting where you're not eating clean 100% of the time because you don't have to eat clean 100% of the time in order to lose weight. So don't let that scare you. Like certain food options you don't like. If you don't like a food, don't eat it. It's really that simple. You should not be eating anything you don't enjoy. And even me with my online clients, if they tell me they don't like something that I tell them that they should eat or I put on their plan, and I say, okay, we'll substitute it out. What do you like? And then I figure out what portion size they should be eating so that they can still reach their daily calorie intake goal. It's really that simple and I know a lot of people have been really big on trying to convince people that they don't have to eat clean 100% of the time but also keep in mind you don't want a diet that's full of junk food either. You want to have you know a good balance. You still want to get a lot of your food sources from whole foods because that's going to help to fill you up and also it's going to be good for you overall. So I'm not saying you know, you could be in a caloric deficit and eat McDonald's every day. Yeah, you could, but that's not going to be the best for your health overall. So make sure to keep a good, healthy balance in there. All right, so I hope you all found this video helpful. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.